Hi, this is Ryan Estes helping you prepare for impact. Rejection is part of life and it is absolutely part of professional selling. One of the biggest reasons sellers miss quota is because the deals go to die in the land of indecision. No decision is often consistent with the seller's inability to move a client past resistance. But it doesn't have to be that way. Do this instead. First, anticipate resistance and rejection and reframe it. Oftentimes, it's a sign of additional interest and the best sellers actually look forward to those moments of tension because number two, you have to be able to quantify it, understand it, and then intelligently move a customer past that resistance into seeing and believing in an ideal future state in partnership with you. And finally, don't forget, don't ever forget that when you've intelligently moved past a point of resistance to ask for the business. Just this week, we were on a sales call and it was the natural and logical conclusion to the process. And the next step was decision or agreement. And our client simply said, hey, I need some time to think about it. And I just responded with, that's great. While we're on the Zoom, is there something specific that we could think through together and work through it? That invitation opened up a conversation that led to the right decision, which was doing business together. I would encourage you to think about it the same way. This is Ryan Estes helping you prepare for impact.